We have a fairly backward audience here, I must say, in spite of the film society movement and all that. If you consider the large audience, it's a backward audience, unsophisticated audience. If you ask any random Indian about these people, there's a very good chance they will recognize them, but this person, rarely anyone will. Ray put Indian films on the world map. His movies remain the finest portrayals of life, the eternal pain and suffering of humanity on earth. Portrayal of life is depicted in its bare bones, stripped down to the bare minimum in Ray's movies. Actors speak, cry, smile and mesh with life without any acting, without any makeup, without life's luxuries. I was a kid, I, I was living in Lower East Side, and uh, the first film that I really saw about India was Patet Panchali by Sajit Ray. And I realized it was a film that was made by Indians, for Indians, for the world not through other cultures, and it brought me to learn about the rest of the world. He has won 35 National Film Awards. Why is this record? Because the King of Bollywood, according to his fans, has won zero National Film Award. Ray is the second film personality after Charlie Chaplin to have been awarded an honorary doctorate by Oxford University. He is only Indian to earn an honorary Academy Award in 1992. He was not just a film director, but also a fiction writer, publisher, illustrator, calligrapher, graphic designer. And mind you, he was very good at all of these. I once made a film called The Goddess, Devi. Uh, it dealt with religious dogmatism. It didn't attack religion as such. It re attacked dogmatism, uh, the extreme form of uh, religion. But people were writing in the papers that, oh, because Mr. Ray is not a Hindu, he was a Brahmo, he's uh, making such films against Hinduism and all that. But they are stupid people, you can't take them into, into account. Uh, you, uh, this happens in India all the time. And people don't, uh, we have a fairly backward audience here, I must say, in spite of the film society movement and all that. If you consider the large audience, it's a backward audience, unsophisticated audience, exposed to the commercial Hindi cinema more than anything else. And so, uh, you face this problem, but you make the kind of films, I make the kind of films that I want to make. I make the kind of films that I enjoy making, that uh, uh, engages my, my, my attention, my creativity. Uh, that's all I can do.